Well, all Glace County has lots of plans for a total solar, total solar eclipse weekend because Armstrong's Air and Space Museum is right there, a perfect place to go visit. And joining us today from the museum, he is the curator and communications director, Logan Rex. And thanks for coming today. Yes, thank you for having me. I mean, you guys are all about space and the moon and stuff, but this must be something exciting that you guys have been gearing up for to bring extra fun to the museum. Yeah, the museum we've been gearing up for years. I mean, we've been getting calls uh, in two, three years out asking for tickets on that day. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, finally, I mean, it's hard to believe that it's actually, you know, less than two weeks away now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, just the history that you guys have with Neil Armstrong and what the museum is all like, that's a perfect place just to visit as part of the whole weekend. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just the whole weekend, like you said, we're going to have a lot of activities going on. We're going to actually extending our hours that weekend, that Saturday and Sunday. We're going to be open 9 to 5. Uh, we're actually going to have kids' activities on that weekend as well. Um, and of course, I think Sunday, we're actually going to have some chicken dinners available starting at, at 11 a.m. on that Sunday. Uh, and then when we go into that, that Monday, of course, the big day, um, we're, we're trying to make sure that we're, we're, we're managing expectation when it comes to parking as well. So we're going to open, open up around 8.30 a.m. And then on that Monday, we'll be open uh, 9 to 7 a.m. On uh, 9 to 7 p.m. Okay, all right. And like, COSI is going to be there for some activities for part of the stuff that you're doing, right? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of things with COSI through the past year. So they'll be out. They'll have a lot of activities going on. We'll have an outdoor store available for some uh, just Eclipse merchandise. Anyone that would like to to get some Eclipse Which, merchandise. Which, by the way, well. you brought some. Let's yes, check that absolutely. out, right? Yes, we get some nice Eclipse merchandise. We've been, uh, you know, getting a lot people asking for it specifically so we wanted to have it in the store and then mm -hmm. outside as well because so, there's going to be a lot of people on the grounds. Right. Uh, it is free to come onto the grounds. Uh, you can just go if you want to go into the museum. You can pay admission as well. Um, we extended those hours to make sure that you, you have the ability to, to go out and, and just enjoy the museum. Like you said, it is it is a space museum, and, and it is right. the time to, to celebrate space. It certainly is. Now, you, you mentioned admission, I guess. Uh, what's the admission price so people are prepared? Yeah, it's $12 for adults, uh, $11 for seniors. Uh, if you're a veteran, it's $10. If you're active duty, it's free. And if you're an OHC member, Ohio History Connection member, it's free as well. All right. So are there some tips for the eclipse? I mean, I see the moon's got the glasses on. Yes. I mean, tell us yes. about some of the stuff to be prepared for that day. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, glasses are the number one thing. Thing. Definitely make sure that you get your glasses early. Um, a lot of places, places might run out uh, the closer we get to that, that event. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of traffic. I mean, Wapakoneta in general is probably going to double or triple in size. So traffic will be an issue. So if you want to come to the museum or come anywhere in Wapak, uh, just really expect some delays or come early. Um, and then parking, parking as well. There's going to be a lot of issues with, with parking. So we're going to make sure that we have enough parking available you know, near the museum as well. Um, but parking also in other areas will probably be cost money as well. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, just make sure that you do have cash on hand. And I think another big thing is a lot of people try to take photos during the eclipse. Take, take pictures of people that you're with. Take pictures of the day. You know, there's going to be plenty of images from NASA and all these professionals. Just really enjoy the moment. It's one of the most beautiful things you can experience in nature. And you don't want to experience that through a phone. Right. Yeah, I agree with you. Take, a, take time to enjoy that. All right. Yeah. So a lot happening at uh, the museum, but also at the fairgrounds. They've got a, a festival going on, too. So you want to yeah. stop there, too, maybe. Yeah, they have a Ring of Fire festival that, that they'll be going on, I think, starting Thursday. Uh, there's a lot of events just going on in Wapakoneta that whole weekend. So uh, the YMCA, they're having a pickleball tournament. Uh, the Just the downtown's having first Fridays. So from 5 to 8 p.m. Uh, all the shops will be open so if you've never experienced a first Friday's event I definitely recommend coming out from 5 to 8 you maybe do some shopping you know go to a restaurant or anything like that it's just a it's a great time Wapak knows how to celebrate space right exactly yeah they've they've practiced that before and know how to do it so yes. all right lots of things happening thank you very much Logan for coming today yes you're quite welcome thank you for having me all right don't go away we'll take a look at the weather forecast next